What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Wisp Weekly Podcast. Welcome. This is episode 13 thir- 13 11 I don't know. Who's paying? You're not keeping score either. Yeah. Uh, with you as always, me, Eli, also Michael, <laughs> with you as always. That's right. With you for the last two oh, episodes. Man. I Andrew, love this podcast. Who is, I don't, look, look, if you're not going to write me a script, I'm going to make stuff up and it's going to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's, it's fine. fine. It's with, fine. With me as yeah. as always. With me as always. Myself. <laughs> I can't get away from. Um, okay, so look, if you're if this is the first time you're seeing this, how this works, Andrew keeps us on point. He's mm. got some kind of bulletin list of junk we're supposed to talk about. I don't know. Yeah. Michael and I know little to nothing about it. We kind of just talk about stuff. There are issues that affect Let's Players and gaming video in general. So things like YouTube or Whatever those kids are doing nowadays. Yeah. I don't know. What are we right. talking about? Andrew? Twitches. All right. So for the first for the first segment that y'all know nothing about. Nothing. Um, so this week uh, we there were some articles that came out. Apparently, um, YouTube Kids was a big deal. The the kids app was a big deal about a month ago, and it's been going strong. Um, so some consumer advocacy groups are now saying that the the kids app is violating FTC rules. Because there's a lot of content where people are reviewing different um, different toys, and they're being paid to review different toys, and that's not it, it's not well enough explained for children, um, and so so there there looks to be a fight brewing there. You know, consumer advocates calling on the FTC. YouTube is saying we worked with all of you people. What are you talking about now? Um, discuss. I am man. I had to pick my job off the floor when you told me that there were problems in advocacy groups talking about problems with kids. <laughs> right. What you mean? YouTube has an issue with something they've never done before? <laughs> like, oh, I'm shocked. Like, look, this this is not surprising at all. Um, I mean, there are going to be bumps in the road. Things are going to happen. They're going to figure it out, and they're going to mm-hmm. get it right because they're making a lot of money, and they're right. going to figure out how to keep making a lot of money. There's right. really no surprise yeah. here. This is there's yeah. like, uh, you know. It, I, I think I stumbled across this article earlier in the week, and it was like, oh, wow, shocker. Like, you yeah. know, YouTube doesn't really know how to do this new thing. And they will. They'll figure it out. I mean, they're like, what other kid-oriented video platforms, if they have existed in the past, have reached the, like, scale and magnitude of YouTube? And more importantly, like, which ones came from people that were previously doing no work in the, in right. the children right. entertainment space? So, yeah. like, yeah. It's, 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 the, it's not surprising. And that's the big issue is that they're trying to take – they're trying to go backwards, right? So they've, like, had this completely open platform with sort of – it's like the Wild West to some degree of web video. Sure. Uh, and now they're trying to, like – yeah, they've watched how people do things, and now they're like trying to put controls around right. what was previously uncontrolled. So you look at stuff like the brand sponsorship deal that happened a few weeks ago, where like they're saying it's no longer you're mm-hmm. no longer allowed to put up title cards mm-hmm. with other people's logos right, right, at the beginning right. because they're sponsored. Because we want part of that action. <laughs> YouTube wants and a piece. And so yeah. we added this segment where you can add cards mm-hmm. in order to you know use the brand stuff, and we're going to take blah, blah blah. So all that stuff and. So now this is another another thing where they're trying to say, all right, we're going to put some rules around this. Mm-hmm. And the the problem that they're facing is not specifically around the, the, like it's not kid-friendly content, but rather like YouTube has functioned in relation to brands a certain way for the past, whatever, 10 sure. years or something. Sure. And now mm-hmm. uh, all these kids mm-hmm. that are literally making a living from doing brand partnerships and reviews of things and... Mm-hmm. Bringing in toys, bringing in games, all this kind of stuff. They're having to play by FTC rules now because it's kid oriented. Like once you put right. that stamp on it, it changes yeah. everything. Even though kids right. were watching it beforehand, anyway. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. But they weren't yeah. because yeah. they weren't thirteen. Yeah. And right. No one was. You know, like you agreed that you're using the site and you're at least thirteen. Right. And so, like, uh, so is that the issue here? You have it's it's actually the content creators, and it's not like the B roll ad or the ads are rolling. No, in so it's yeah. it's the content creators themselves. So basically, right, it's it's brand partnerships, right? Yeah. The idea is that these these people who are who have these brand partnerships and are reviewing these toys or playing these games or doing whatever, um, they're they're essentially endorsing products. Um, or at least in the eyes of these these consumer groups, they're endorsing products um, in front of kids, 
yeah. which is kind of which is a little bit of a no no. Like you're not. It's supposed to be really really obvious that this is an advertisement. If you're right. if you're ad, ad, advertising to kids. Well, I mean, um, regular television had that problem for repeatedly over and over sure. during advertising during yeah. kids' cartoons and stuff. It's right. not. It's once again not surprising. Right. But, I mean, it's it's growing. Pains. Yeah, and it's trickier. Like if it was. Ads YouTube was rolling. I think mm-hmm. it'd be a much easier problem to solve. But you're, you know, you're having to now get in between brand partnerships right. with creators right. that have been operating a certain way for a certain amount of time, sure. right. and say you can't really do it that way anymore. I think that's yeah. going to get really awkward, and it's probably yeah. going to take a lot of footwork to make that happen. Not just some like right. you know system they can build to no, you know, I automatically think, say, hey, stop doing that. Right. I think that you know. I, I mean. I, I think yeah, they're ju- they're just gonna have to put some resources on it, and you're gonna have you know you're gonna see the legal team step in a little bit, and you're gonna see them police a little bit more. Um, I, I think YouTube's like YouTube stance on it right now, and it makes sense is you know bring it, bring yeah. the FTC, and and that's I mean it makes sense until the FTC actually does get involved or one of these groups actually sues them. Yeah. I mean there's there's no real incentive for YouTube other than I guess playing nice getting some good publicity out of it um, there's no real incentive for them to change anything right um, and the other thing is that like you know in all of the articles that I've read I've no, I haven't seen numbers where they're coming in there saying right these people are endorsing these products and then go people are going out and buying these products and kids are getting hurt yeah sure. yeah or sure. that's the type of thing that would motivate the the trade the commission Superman to get Kate involved doesn't allow you to fly um, right. right exactly <laughs> so um it, you know personally you have a kid who got a toy and said this toy is super fun uh, I you know I can see how other kids are like oh that guy said it was super fun so I think it's super fun so I want it yeah, yeah. Um, that's how advertisements always work but exactly right. <laughs> exactly yeah. and I mean, all those like, kids commercials I mean, are like kids playing and having a good yeah. time with the toy Michael right. Jordan's on your Wheaties box for a reason yeah. right <laughs> yeah, absolutely yeah. That's um, so but didn't didn't YouTube work with these groups ahead of time supposedly according to YouTube they worked with consumer groups kids consumer groups to create the app I. Theory and how, practice, man. Right, yeah, exactly. Practice. I mean, like, you know, how much of it was they sat down and said, we're going to bring on Disney and uh, we're going to bring on, uh, you know, Looney Tunes or whoever else, all of these right. other kid-friendly brands, and we're going to get them all in this in this one place and kids can go on there and watch it. Right. And how much of it was like, oh, we're going to get all of these people who do these unboxings of all of these different, the, all of these different toys and get played with it. I doubt that was... Just, really a part of the conversation sure, sure. initially yeah so right. i don't know i'm gonna so, put a bow on it i'm gonna put a yeah. bow on this with with a bold claim okay all right two like one first first right. the, first right. the obvious claim yeah youtube's gonna figure this out it's gonna be fine it's not gonna be a problem sure to the bold claim Dude. youtube is youtube kids is going to be the predominant platform period where children consume video content they're Ooh. bigger than cartoon bigger than television bigger than any other online source it's gonna be youtube kids Wow, that's my bold claim. All right, I think it's gonna it is bold. I think it's gonna it's be bold. bold. Yeah, it's I'm bold. not even gonna justify it. Just wait and see. I, I'm right. soothsaying right. now. All right. Because guess what? My predictions come true. <laughs> We're gonna find out later in this podcast. Sure, sure.